Nazis didn't just roll across Europe. They did it fast as lightning. It didn't hurt, they had massive amounts of tanks, also barbiturates. Once they reached the coast, they dug in, fortified hard and deep. The Normandy landing wasn't ever an assurity, but they would be well prepared no matter where the Allies landed. The Reich was brought down for lots of reasons, but for today, we'll learn that a resourceful enemy will not just avoid your traps, but they will repurpose them and use them against you in the coming fight. Imagine those metal gates to the transport ships lowering down and then unlucky death flying all around you. After all that, you see these, these Czech hedgehogs, bits of gnarled metal ideal for preventing mechanized transport, specifically they're a giant pain for slow-moving tanks. All five beachheads had been secured. Within a week's time, they pushed inland. Field Marshal Montgomery wanted to flank the Germans from the city of Cain. To do this, they needed to go through Valais Bocage. Nazi armor was waiting for them, as always. But more forbidding than even that was the Bocage itself. The Bocage in France was a row of hedges. That sentence doesn't actually do it justice. The Bocage was a natural labyrinth that would spell doom for any mechanized vehicle, even traveling on foot. Well, it made soldiers feel something akin to being chased by a minotaur. Both sides would take heavy damage for control of the town of Valais Bocage. A few victories here and there. All that is a story for another time. For today, our lesson is simple. After the battle, they still needed to get the tanks by. But how with these giant green guardians of nature? The Germans had luckily left them all they'd need with those silly Czech hedgehogs. Gotta love resourcefulness. Chamath on the All In podcast was talking about how he had his people compile files from Wall Street Bets to show how much value was actually there in GameStop. This is what talks about uh, betting on e-commerce. It runs a timeline from deep fucking value to Michael Burry being long to Sir Ryan Cohen starting to accumulate his shares, noting that the short position is over 120%. He also notes new console cycles, loyalty programs, good balance sheets, and once again, Sir Ryan buying even more shares, all of which means that the shorts will get screwed. Cohen writes a letter to the board to evolve into tech and delivers exceptional experience across the board, but will not remain only what it has been. Then Melvin, synthetically shorting the stock, um, they had been making this bet since 2016. Then in January, two of Sir Ryan Cohen's friends also join on the board. Stock goes up 13% that day. Three days later, it's 125% up since then. The hedge funds and retail have been waging a war. Imagine if they hadn't locked us out last Thursday. In the past week, we've seen traded over a billion dollars in GameStop. That's more than should exist. It's almost as if some really shady stuff's been going on behind the scenes that lots of big money is in on. They're playing with money they don't have and trading on shares that most likely don't exist. The thing you or I would go to jail for. Well, TikTok, they have five days. Shameless plug for last Monday's episode. I'll put the description, but it's pretty cool that I said, and I'll quote, hedge funds are going to be shown in the next few weeks. They have no idea what they're doing. Good stuff. Please like and sub. Okay, so I've heard all the issues of Robin Hood and the liquidity issues. They handle a lot in-house. I think all of this was pre-planned. They didn't just sneak up on them or Melvin. I also think when asked about a liquidity issue, they at first said no. Were they lying before or after? Okay, so I enjoy nuance. I think it's quite possible they were lying both times. There's a real part of me that thinks something really, really sinister is going on. Um, beyond just like the sheer illegal naked shorts, they've created synthetic shares that are untradeable. And this might, in fact, be the nexus that holds this whole debacle together. 
and the brazen attempts to manipulate the market. It's not even manipulation, it's stupid and it's obvious cheating. The week ahead will be a sight. Know thy enemy and thyself. Thank you, Sun Tzu. We miss you every day. If I'm Melvin, or really Citadel at this point, this is how I'll be dealing with this from going on, I'm going to use any method I can to help out my horrible positions. I will run ads about closing my positions, even though I've never actually done this before. SLV is their fifth highest position, by the way. They're pumping it to help them stay above water. No reprieve, no quarter. You don't win by occupying. You win by taking the capital. Remember, just last Friday when Jim Cramer, mad money? Talking about how the Reddit army has won and you should be happy and take your win. Thanks for the solid investing advice, you snake. Why are they doing this, gang? Why are they so brazenly doubling down and lying about it? This is what desperate looks like. It always looks the same. Panicked anger. We are seeing the most coordinated financial warfare in the modern age. They are doing it so brazenly because they aren't liquid. They lied about closing those positions and over 90% of them are due this Friday. Game on. Power to the player. Funny how it's just the amount to be under what would have been if they weren't naked short selling. You know the reason we're all in GameStop to start with? Now it's uh, time to bleed the leeches dry. That's what it's all about at this point. Robin Hood is owned by Citadel. Yeah, yeah, there are others too. But really, it's Citadel. Citadel controls over 40% of the market flow, and sometimes they even let us buy stock. What is Robin Hood? What's their business model? It's selling user data, while also being a broker-ish. This data is sold to hedge funds before the end user's orders are executed. That moments before when you're waiting, yeah, that's them, moving first. If we believe that Robin Hood and what his CEO has said, then they don't have a liquidity issue because they limited the thing that would have caused it. No, nope. it's about money. They owe more to their corporate masters. If this in totality isn't market manipulation, then there is no such thing. If you can hire financial news to lie for you, then we can use Reddit. This would all end if you'd swallow your stupid pride and eat your losses. You won't. And that is why we win. Your options are due this Friday. The world is against you, and your power, your money, is waning. We've taken the traps you left for all of us, busted out some welding equipment, and turned all them onto our tanks into front-end lawnmowers. Thanks for the steel. We'll put it to great use. Those natural boundaries that you were counting on, yeah, they're with us now. They're the tip of the spear, a mechanized spear that's driving right for your capital. You're welcome for cutting the grass, by the way. Roll out. You don't like us talking about how we really like the stock? Cool. We also really like hedge funds. Which one of those is a lie? According to you, words don't matter, and we live in the midst of an illusion. The difference. The difference we have for us is the winds of history and the outrage at our backs. We're coming for Berlin. You just better hope we get there before the Russians. What's that, Didi? The big bear don't play. True that. Shout out to the brave Russian people who are every day fighting a corrupt system for a better tomorrow. We salute you, brother bears. It's funny what a common enemy can do to unite us. Gotta love history. Welcome back to You've Made Worse Bets. I'm your host, CJ. He's due diligence. He's an angry bear. And we're a gambling show. We won't be doing a formal list this week. Um, if it's heavily shorted, then that's what we're buying. GameStop, AMC, MAK, BBBY, Express, MNK, BGG. These are all the moves shorted. Uh, some of them more than AMC are equal and have time horizons within the next two weeks. I.e., this is the squeeze, the hedge fund playbook for all week. I'll adjust as needed, but this week is going to be fun. 
they don't have any dry powder to stay in this fight. We do. We've got the channel. We've got the beachheads. We may have been bogged down a little, but we didn't come this far to get pushed back into the sea. This is where we stop them. This is where they start moving backwards. We're using money from calls to buy GameStop shares at whatever the price, whenever we're allowed to, that is, and we're not selling till Elon, bless you, number one, puts GameStop on a rocket and sends it into the sky. Some smart soldiers out there are even advertising with billboards, airplanes, banners, and a nice Times Square digital ad. Citadel. Melvin, you bet against America, you greedy pigs. We're going to show you why pigs get slaughtered. You knew this lesson, you just ignored it. We're making history, and you're on the losing side of that bet. You design this whole system. You have the lawmakers and the media to back your plays and bail you out. History isn't made by those who gatekeep. It's made by those who knock them down. Your citadel of power is a relic of the past. Allow us to place you in a nice museum. I've studied game theory my whole life. We're not the ones who broke the game. We're just the ones that acted on your greedy AF overextension, never short something over 100% again. We won't need to repeat it. You'll know it by Friday. Goldman has come out to say the short squeeze could crash the market. Um, if the banks didn't do it, how could we? We're either too small to matter or too big to fail. Thanks for that one, by the way. Thanks a million. Maybe I should start saying thanks a billion. What I expect this morning is that they'll throw whatever they have at Monday's pre-market. They will attack servers of any retail clearinghouses, DDoS attacks, Reddit bots. They will get the banks to look into the possibility of locking out anyone on margin or with active debt in these next few days. They will show how truly corrupt the financial news is. Pit of vipers. It's funny we're the ones that have to use a disclaimer. It should say, I'm a shill for rich hedge funds and all the money in the world won't save my soul. Jim Cramer, I used to think you were a good guy who cared about the little guy. I was wrong. See there? It's not that hard. I was wrong. Hedge funds, your inability to say that little sense is why your puts will burn to the ground. Theta will have them this week. Good work, Theta gang. Wow, never said those words before in my life. Change is hard, but also necessary. Tomas said, Tesla is a manifestation of Elon. It's almost as if leaders matter more than technicals. Literally, go back to any episode I've done, and this has been my investing thesis from the start. They doubted Bitcoin and Tesla and GameStop. You have been taught incorrectly. All of us have. Our entire scope of the market is wrong. It's nonsense. Stocks trade on the assumption that people will pay more tomorrow than today. If it's uncoupled from the underlying, then it doesn't have to be technical. It never has had to be either. We take bets in everything in life. The variable isn't up or down. It's if we're right or wrong. We use things to bolster it or undermine it, and then we use hindsight to pretend things are obvious. The market isn't the economy. Clearly, the market sets its value, though we can be upset about that fact, or we can play the game. Game on. The Nazis left so many traps for the Allies. A wise opponent will go around a trap, but a worthy one will use it against the enemy. In the Civil War, when the Confederates started using landmines, Sherman would uh, make the POWs walk point to defuse them. War is hell. Today, gang, don't let the traps trip you up. Repurpose it and show them how it's really supposed to be used. We don't stop until we hit Berlin. Here's what they don't understand about us. We will rain, remain illogical much longer than they can remain solvent. We're actually hyper-logical. They create nothing but destruction. 
the market, and I'm not speaking of the stock market here, but the universal market is coming for all of them. We live in fascinating times, arbitrarily calling in margin accounts on Thursday, hiring your talking heads to spit out their venom. Oh, and by the way, we're coming for you too, financial news. People shouldn't trust you ever again. I'll dance on your graves. Yes, Dee Dee? Of course you're coming with me. You too, Mr. Bacon. A possible tactic they might employ is pulling margin from long customers, the clearinghouses and broker dealers who finance margin accounts will suddenly pull all long margin availability, citing very transparent reasons for the abrupt change in lending policy. This causes a flood of margin selling, which further drives the stock price down and gets the shorts the cheaper long shares that they need to cover. The shorts, in order to realize their profit, must ultimately put the victim into bankruptcy or obtain shares at a price much cheaper than what they shorted at. Problem is they were too greedy. These shares come from the investing public who panics and sells into the manipulation. Panic is induced with assistance from the financial media. What was the point of the stock market? To help capitalize business and then exit a position. Instead, it's turned into a synthetic casino. It takes away from capital that would actually help them. Well, then we're rewriting the rules. It's why we're buying GameStop pizza and sending them gift cards. It's why we're giving them bags of peanuts with $100 bills on them. We're going to actually invest gains rather than just keep gambling like a degenerate. Remember, game, it's not gambling if you're winning. I love all the paying it forward and clever AF marketing campaigns I'm seeing out there. You are saving the life of some billboard owners, by the way, across the country, real talk. This is how they blew up the housing market, by the way. Betting on derivatives. This is the opposite of the big short. This is the tiny long. But we are legion. They went after our free speech. They went into Discord and they created controversies and then screenshotted them in order to limit our speech. Twitter should have banned Trump for a month. They should not have silenced him. I am in no way a fan, but this is the First Amendment. The next bit isn't mine, but I saw it on Wall Street Bets and thought it's worth sharing. The anatomy of a short attack. Abusive shorting are not random acts of renegade hedge funds, but rather a coordinated business plan that is carried out by a colossal consortium of hedge funds and prime brokers and help from their friends at the DTC and major clearinghouses. Potential target companies are identified, analyzed, and prioritized. The attack is planned to its most minute detail. A plan consists of taking a large short position, then crushing the stock price, if possible, putting the company into bankruptcy. Bankrupting the company is a short home run because they never have to buy real shares to cover it and don't have to pay taxes on the ill-gotten gains. When it's time to drive the stock price down, a blitzkrieg, lightning war is unleashed against the company by a cabal of short hedge funds and prime brokers. The playbook is very similar from attack to attack, and the participating prime brokers and lead shorts are fairly consistent as well. Today, gang, remember that we've faced rows of opposition before. It only means we're gaining ground. Do not fear. For it's not our fear the market is currently feasting on. Grab the traps and weld them on. We're turning the enemy's tools against them today. We mow down the hedges and whatever else stands, we will mow that down too. We've taken their worst, established a beachhead, and now we turn the tide. Set your target and hit the gas. We ride swiftly into dawn.